I did this report in ninth grade and I was just wondering, can you be permanently damaged from doing ecstasy? Because in my report, I was doing research and some people said that, yeah, you can be totally permanently damaged the first time you do it. And then other people totally behave perfectly fine with it. So MTV was sending people to these raves beforehand to like check people's ease and see if it's cut with things. And if it wasn't cut, they'd let you know. And if it was cut, they'd let you know. But either way, the people are gonna do it anyway. So are they gonna be permanently damaged? Leaving aside the issue that it's made by people about whom the only thing you know is that they're criminals, and leaving aside things that can happen to you while you're on ecstasy, such as overheating, getting arrested, or poor choice of sexual partner, it's quite probable that it causes permanent damage. Proponents of ecstasy like to point out that there was a famous incident in 2003 in which scientists at Johns Hopkins had to retract a paper saying that ecstasy caused Parkinson's disease because it turned out they had used the wrong drug in their study. But there have been numerous studies since showing that ecstasy does cause brain cell death in animals and that in humans who take ecstasy regularly, there is an increased tendency to have mood problems, memory problems, and processing speed slowing for at least a year after you stop, which is as long as anybody's studied. The British journal The Lancet in 2007 listed ecstasy 18th out of 20 regularly used drugs in terms of dangerousness. But since that list included things like anabolic steroids, solvents, and heroin, I wouldn't quite put it in your pipe and smoke it. I'm Dr. Josh Bazell, and you're Sorry You Asked. Sorry You Asked has no way of knowing which